All right, beauty lovers, I'm right back with you on the second part of the um, ultrasonic spatula or ultrasonic scrubber uh, education. So in this video, we will be talking about, oops, okay, we will be talking about how to use the spatula. In my first video, I covered um, a little bit of theory of what the spatula does and what it's useful for. Um, and, and things like that. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use it. So um, of course, the, the the best way to use it, like I told you, is um, I have my rose water here. Is just a little bit of rose water on the cotton round um, or any soft um, sponge. Okay, and what you want to do is you can wipe the skin okay uh, leave the skin moist very very important if you have to get a little more product leave your skin moist it's very important that the skin is moist while you're working the spatula all right so you're going to turn it on okay so this is turn just to turn on the second time is the actual option okay or selection so in this case let's just start with the first one uh, where it's continuous vibration and what I like to do is if I'm using it on myself and this is where I'll be doing wipe the area and then slide a little bit of pressure but not much okay again you can wipe and slide so you want to slide on the moist skin and what happens is that you will see that a lot of times a lot of times um on when you look at the spatula you can actually see the residue of dead skin on it okay and you can actually see when you're working with a spatula it's very hard to see on the video but it actually um it, it kind of spreads you know it, the vibration is so high that it's like a little shower here and it feels very very gentle okay and that's what you would do is just you know slightly scrub you don't have to press too hard kind of almost like shaving you know so it's really really cool i have to tell you it's so gentle and that's all you're doing okay so you can go any any way you can go up if you want okay by the way it's not shaving your skin it's just lifting that skin off it means all of your hair and each fuzz that you have intact so that's what you're doing you're just going over your entire face um, whether you want to go down or up, doesn't matter, you can go always. And as long as you're not pressing too hard and you're not, um, uh, you know, you're not damaging your skin. So you can feel it. Let's say you would people that have sensitive skin, you know, it happens a lot on your cheeks. So just be very gentle. But the main important thing with this spatula is that your skin has to be moist, very moist. So here's another thing that just so you understand. If you can see on the spatula, you see how it kind of goes like a flat and then down. Okay. When you work on the skin to exfoliate, okay, then you're using the downside. Okay. So the downside, so the extended side is away from the skin. Okay not like this you're using it like so okay so i hope you can see me. okay so this part is down okay the actual spatula is down turn it and use it now there's a difference because if you're using the other side the other side is what helps you to penetrate the product in that's the second part of this using the spatula is that one part of it helps you to slough off the dead skin and the other side of it helps to penetrate the product okay so let's 
let's say I have I went around the, the, my entire face, I've exfoliated, you know, feels good, feels like it's breathing. So now that my skin is well exfoliated, what do I want to do? I want to uh, penetrate some good products, right? I'm ready to feed my skin because it, now it's clean, it's open. Um, so I want to penetrate good products. So what are the best products to use with the spatula? Again, it's best to use products that have smaller molecular structure. What are those products that have smaller molecular structure? Those would be, again, your floral waters or your serums. So most serums, um, booster serums, um, ampules, uh, you know, not moisturizers, not creams, uh, because too heavy, they're just too heavy for the spatula. So you want to use those products that are really, really light, um, light in viscosity, they are liquidy or they're thin, you know, whatever term you want to use, you know, those would be your serums, your floral waters. Um, so that's what I suggest to use. Even some masks, so masks that are of a gel nature, okay, a lot of those green masks are out there, anything that ha is a, a water-based, you can use. So let's say if you want to use a mask, a gel mask, apply the mask on or apply the serum on and go ahead and turn on the spatula. Again, the options here that you can use are either the continuous or the interrupted vibration. Okay. Then, or you're going to skip the clean, which is with the negative galvanic, because that option can be used with what I showed you in the first part, with the um, uh, your astringent or floral water. Okay, that's just to clean the skin, clean the dead skin. Or let's say for those of you that like to do extractions at home, and let me talk a little bit about extractions. I am a professional and I don't like when my clients go home and perform surgeries, bathroom surgeries, and do their own extractions. But, you know, at the same time, there are um, people that have skin that clogs up or, or gets congested really fast, okay? And I hope that those people are seeking professional help and helping their skin to declog. So in that case, I educate my clients Okay, a one-on-one -on -one conversation on how to properly exfoliate, uh, not exfoliate, but um, extract, you know, or squeeze out your pores. Okay, squeeze out the congestion from your pores, which most of the time happens in the T-zone, your forehead, your nose, chin. So if you do, real quick, if you have to do it, then this is a great tool to prepare your skin for your bathroom extractions, okay? Uh, and in this case, yes, you would turn the spatula on to clean. You would use either your floral water, your astringent, or best to use is what's called a disincrustation solution. Disincrustation solution is a solution that we use in the room. Estheticians use it in the room to prepare the skin for extractions. And Technically, what it is, um, if you want to make your, your own disincrustation solution, um, is just mix uh, baking soda and water. That's, that's mostly what it is, okay? There are just ready products that we use. Some have better quality, some have worse quality, but you, making it at home, you can also do that. Mix a little bit of um, uh, baking soda with more water, obviously, than baking soda, kind of one to three part um three parts of water one part of baking soda and you know wipe your skin try to do it just in the areas where you have extractions use your spatula with um in the option of clean let's say you bought a spatula you have a spatula that doesn't have the galvanic option it's okay then use the part that just you know has a vibration ultrasonic in it and just use it over the disincrustation solution and then do your extractions. Extractions should be, um, fingers should be wrapped. If you're using fingers, you can also use Q-tips and then slightly, you know, 
very light, whatever comes out. Don't squeeze the life out of your pores. Just lightly squeeze and what comes out, comes out, okay? What doesn't is that it'll happen in a couple of days. So try, if you do your own extractions, this is a great tool to use to prepare your skin so you don't have to do it on the, on the unprepared skin, okay? Because extractions can damage your skin. They can spread bacteria, they can scar your skin. So you need to know how to do extractions. So if you're dying to do extractions at home, definitely talk to your esthetician and educate yourself on how to do it properly, okay? But in either case, when you're doing it at home, do your extractions very, very light, not like we do it here in the, in the room. Um, <clears throat> so after your skin is clean, then you can put your serum on and then turn the device on. Again, if you have galvanic in your spatula, then go ahead and put it on Nutri. Let me just make sure I'm on Nutri. Okay, you're going to apply, whether it's a mask, a serum, floral water, apply the product on the skin. Okay, you can do half face first. And then what you're doing is you're flipping the spatula this way. So you see now the bent part is up. Okay, and you're just going over the skin. So here with penetration, and actually because it's an ultrasonic, it actually helps to tighten the skin as well. So it's a good massage. It's a great vibrational massage. So in this case, I wouldn't do it just any, any way uh, up, down. I would try to go against the gravity and lift the skin up. Okay, so everything goes up slow. You don't have to rush. Okay, so give it about a good five minutes because before you go over the entire face and this is what you're doing you're just going over the product with the motion up on the forehead you would go side okay again you can go close to the eye that would still stay on the bone orbital bone same over the brow. Okay, great massage for the for the eyes, for the bags. I mean, I always have my bags, you know, genetic condition. Um, so I always have to use gadgets. Otherwise, I would really be in trouble. And it actually feels nice. It feels really nice and warm. So it's a um, really, really cool way of helping your skin, not only to penetrate the product, but to tighten your skin, to kind of distress your skin, <clears throat> you know, turn on some spa music and just help your skin to absorb the product with the help of the spatula. And it feels really, really good. Like it really feels good. It feels like, and I just, you know, massage my skin for a couple of minutes and this side already feels like there is something, the activity, I feel the activity. So really, really cool spatula. Um, I love it. I think that all of us should have it at home. You guys can make your comments. You can write to me um, at myadorned at gmail.com and um, ask me questions. I will answer all your questions. I will guide you in the right direction as far as where to get the spatula because um, I have some trusted companies that I really like. Um, when it comes to gadgets, I always, um, myself and my team, we check the, uh, the quality standards when we purchase gadgets or when we look at gadgets or when we advertise gadgets. <clears throat> so uh, you're welcome. If you are a company that would like for us to demonstrate your gadgets, we can. So definitely contact us here we're in new york um the number here is 718-521-6320 um right now our office is closed we are actually working all from home and um so we will leave a message and we'll call you back but myadorn at gmail.com you can write to us you know all of you guys with any questions and we will help you to guide you in the right direction remember that myadorn is a company that um helps 
professionals helps the public to educate about the beauty, especially beauty on the go. You know, we all live on the go and we do a lot of things on the go, at home, you know, airplane, on the airplane, you know, in the car. So what can we do? What can't we do? Um, this is our job to educate you about. So it's primarily an educational uh, brand and um, we love what we do. So you're welcome to contact us and um, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.